Morning everybody, welcome to Northern Fell Running and we're back here at Thrunton Woods with our friend Alex McLennan. We're really pleased this is the uh, final forest in the Fumbland which was closed during Storm Arwen since November 2021 has reopened to public access yesterday morning and that's it, uh, a partial reopen but it's a permanent partial reopen. Brilliant. We also have a very special announcement to make that uh, Alex has agreed to allow us to come in and do a race here. So Northern Fell Running will be working with Forestry England and Alex. And, and landowners. Landowners. And we're hoping to put a race on around October time. So more details will be coming out about that soon. But I'm gonna let you, Alex talk about a little bit about the, the forest. Uh, I know it's a partial reopen, isn't it? So where can people go and where can they not go? Uh, the forest uh, has been reopened as we can see in the map. Um, you might want to look at that. Um, this is to allow the forestry operations to complete safely, uh, to keep the, the public safe at all times. You have a, a newly um, waymarked green trail, which is a bit of a short route, but actually it's a part of the forest which had not been waymarked before. And already after day one, it's getting some really good feedback from users going, hadn't walked that part of the forest before, really nice, we have some access back. You can also uh, access up on the Long Crag area. We do need to keep the public out of these areas here for safety because the machines are working there. The, the really simple message here to give uh, on this partial reopening is we want to reopen the whole forest as quickly as possible. That's the agenda from the, the uh, operators working the machines, the contractors, forest England staff, landowners, etc. However, the key thing is that can only happen if people stay at the work zones. So the real important message is just one key message really, stay out of the work zones means they will get cleared away quicker, timber lorries will come and collect the timber, remove all the timber stock, the signage will come down as we've done safely with the way we've done the partial reopening. Um, the middle section will open quicker, which is good news. We don't have the defined timeline, but we are, we, we are confident that will be later this year at some point. These two areas, in this one in particular, will be, we are sorry to announce, will be into 2024. That is because they're very big majestic trees. How they crash down during a storm has been very complex and that's a far slower operation. So if you ask me how I think the sequencing may go, I'm gonna say the word may, <laughs> this section will reopen at some point, followed by this section, and this one will be the one that's probably going to be the one that's going to stay shut for quite a period of time. But there's still a, a big chunk of the park that's open, isn't there? So Absolutely. Huge part of the uh, Thornton Forest has already reopened in phase one. We hope the public enjoy that. We really want you to come back, everybody to come back and enjoy Thornton Forest. And the one thing we think will happen is as people come into the forest again, they will now see themselves firsthand what the devastation of a storm can do. And mm. Mother Nature, and I think that's really important for us for people to now come start coming back and seeing it firsthand. Stay out of the work zones, enjoy yourselves. Come here 24 hours a day, the forest is open, so people want to come here and enjoy the dark skies. Come up here. Things to think about if you're coming up on your own and it's an evening, tell someone, let someone know where you're parked because we have had incidents where mountain rescue team etc come out. They might, always, they might all sound very basic things, but this does happen in the countryside, mm. so always look after yourself. Please do stay out of the wind-blown trees because already we've had a major incident in Thornton where the emergency service was called out. You might think it doesn't look that bad and you might think I will be able to get hey, through those that. we've been in. <laughs> As we know. <laughs> and then very quickly you end up in trouble because it's very hot in there, it's a very hostile environment. Treetops are above your head you don't know is there and they'll come down and they will kill someone. Yeah. So that's why we do this whole stay out till it's cleared safely. And you have to bear in mind there are some areas that have not been checked in there. So although the works are all happening at one bit, do bear in mind that there's still surveying going on as well on how the machines will go and clear the rest. So that's it. Welcome back and enjoy Swanton. Brilliant. Thank you, Alex. Good to see you. Thank you.